Hello and welcome to News Click. The alliance between Bharatiya Janata Party and People's Democratic Party in Kashmir is on shaky grounds again as Haseeb Drabu has been sacked. Haseeb Drabu was the finance minister and a senior leader in the PDP. His sacking comes after he made a statement last week saying that Kashmir is not a political issue but a social one. So to discuss the implications of this statement and what it would mean for the alliance going in the future, we have with us today Gautam Tablaka, who is a democratic rights activist. So Gautam, the first thing uh, that comes to mind is that, of course, the statement made by Drabu is against the very core ideology of PDP, but uh, um, it's nothing new. It was known before also that this is his, these are his views. But so why does his sacking come at this point of time? First is, of course, the BDP, PDP's uh, the, uh, claim that it was contrary to their to their core uh, ideology, mm. which believes in that this is a unresolved political dispute that has to be resolved peacefully, and they have their own position on what the solution is. Um, the question is that PDP BJP alliance itself is a alliance of two opposite poles, so to say. Exactly. Because whereas PDP believes that it's uh, it's part of its core ideology, and the Kashmir is a political dispute, not a religious conflict. Uh, uh, PJP in particular insists that this is actually got there is no political dispute. Mm -hmm that the only thing uh, that it's a religious conflict, uh, the religious fundamentalists, meaning the Islamic fundamentalist and radicals are behind it. Mm -hmm. And uh, as far as they are concerned, it's Pakistan's hand. And therefore, the only issue that remains to be tackled is to uh, get the land back from, uh, from so-called Pakistani mm -hmm. uh, uh, control. Mm -hmm. But the point is, they knew this position of the BJP, and despite that, they came together. Yeah. In so far as Haseeb Drabu is concerned, well, Haseeb has been known, I mean, from for a long time, from his own writings before he mm -hmm. became a finance minister this time around, mm -hmm. in 2015, when uh, Mufti uh, reached an agreement with, uh, Mufti Saab reached an agreement with BJP in March 2015 and formed the alliance from the, with the agenda of alliance and uh, uh, the p common party program of the two things. So he was the main architect of that. He was also the main architect of the, of uh, uh, re reworking uh, and ensuring the succession of Mehbooba Mufti as chief minister with BJP and the mm -hmm. central leadership of the BJP in particular mm -hmm. had a lot of reservations about. So he played a very critical role. But his positions have been pretty consistent. As Yasin Malik also pointed out last year. Yasin week. Malik in his Facebook post has pointed out, but more than Yasin Malik, everybody knows that he has been writing. He's, he used to write a column in Greater Kashmir where he expanded and explained what he believed. He espoused, in fact, and he articulated this position about fiscal autonomy. Okay. His argument was that all Kashmir requires is fiscal autonomy to develop, uh, to use, to, to tap its own resources much better. That is the central government which comes in the way of this fiscal autonomy and that if fiscal autonomy had been, it was granted to, to, to all the states, not just Jammu and Kashmir, and in particular to Jammu and Kashmir, given its specific position, that, uh, that things would uh, be very different. Mm. That's his view. Uh, then, of course, that we've seen is changing. Well, his mm. position now is, it's much closer at one level to BJP, mm. but that was clear when he became the main architect of, of this uh, call, uh, agenda for alliance. Mm. Uh, and uh, BJP also trusted, I mean, he was the person who was known to have a direct access, not just to uh, to BJP's uh, General Secretary Ram Madhav, but to the President Amit Shah as well as supposed to have a direct uh, contact with Prime Minister's office, so which even Mehbooba hmm. didn't enjoy. So he was very important from the point of view of BJP. So virtually people used to regard Hasid Rabu as actually the main, uh, uh, ma ma the, ma the, the, the most powerful voice for BJP 
uh, inside PDP itself, the, 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 the senior role, the coalition partner. So from that point of view, it's a timing which is interesting. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you look at what has happened in Kashmir, it becomes clear why uh, PDP felt compelled. In the last, since 2016, mm -hmm. July, uh, the uh, killing of Burhan Muzaffarwani and the protests and agitation that began in Kashmir, you would have noticed that, uh, uh, that PDP has been losing ground, yeah. uh, not just all over Kashmir, uh, but particularly in its its main uh, core area, for instance, like South Kashmir, mm -hmm. from where it won maximum uh, seats. Mm -hmm. And they campaigned very loudly on an anti-BJP yeah. platform, yet they signed the. But what happened after 2016 July is that whatever doubt people may have entertained about PDP, mm -hmm. those were removed and there is now a conviction that the PDP has completely betrayed and gone over to the BJP side. Now, with with uh, national conference sniping and the main pro India party sniping at PDP for uh, for for this and for uh, letting a person like Hasid Brabu get away with the kind of statement that he made at this ambassador's meeting, uh, this event which was held in New Delhi on Friday, March 9th. Uh, PDP had no choice but to demand and issue a show cause notice. And then they found that he, since he insisted that he had been misquoted and that whatever he has said is nothing different from the core ideology of the PDP, which the PDP leadership was not willing to concede this time. I think he, he had no choice but to... We also saw that there was one leader in particular in PDP, Sajid Lone, who did come out in support. Sajid Lone is not a member of PDP. He is a coalition partner. He is part of... Uh, he has... He leads his own faction mm -hmm. of, uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, People's Conference, which mm -hmm. his father had started. So, it's he is not member of PDP. And Sajid Lone's credibility in any case in Kashmir is rather poor. So, I mean, nobody, it's not taken very seriously. So, we can't so say that his had, statement taken out of context doesn't really hold for much. Uh, it may be. It may be. For all you know that, I mean, uh, as far as above, from what I've read of the speech, it's more or less on the along the same lines that he's been articulating for a long time. So, for me, I don't find that surprising. Uh, it's, the con it's the timing, it's the context right now that makes it uh, the same views mm -hmm. problematic for the party and they can't accept it because it's like virtually then giving up at mm. least in in the public Im, uh, the projection they'll have to concede that they've moved resile from whatever they believed in if they were to let this pass mm. uh, so, because after all what did he say i mean it's also very interesting mm. to to find out what he actually said and which created this controversy mm. when he mentioned that uh, Kashmir is not a political issue or that there is no conflict, that it's a societal issue mm. uh, that the people are trying to come to grips with. If you read carefully and if you read his speech, it seems that what he believes is that all that people need to do or all that is happening in Kashmir, that pe are people slowly reconciling themselves to, 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 uh, to living mm. Uh, without any change on the ground, without any political shift, without any settlement or any political settlement of the issue, that people are gradually reconciling themselves to whatever is the nature of relation that New Delhi has decided or foisted on them. And that is something extremely problematic even for a, and especially for a politician to, art to articulate such position. I think it doesn't, it won't cut much eyes anywhere. Uh, but obviously, there is a section, um, uh, and Hasib Drabu represents that section or that faction, which actually I feel may draw closer to BJP mm. uh, in, 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 in near future, mm. uh, because their positions are not very different from what BJP has been saying. So, the future of the alliance? Where do you think this will go now, if like things have become this weak now? Look, this alliance was based on self-interest, yeah, on self-gratification. Hmm. 
uh, attraction of power and dispensing of patronage was the way in which uh, pro-Indian parties have survived in Kashmir. This is no different. Mm -hmm. So this was, when people say that this was an alliance of opposite poles virtually, uh, well, we have seen it also in the past. It's not as if it's something very unique mm -hmm. in Jammu and Kashmir or elsewhere in mm -hmm. India. I mean, look at Nitish Kumar's mm -hmm. uh, turnaround. Or look at what happened with the National Conference when they were alliance party with NDA mm -hmm. uh, during Atal Bihari Bajpayee's uh, rule. So it's not as if these kind of alliances don't take place. Mm -hmm. The point is that so brazen has BJP become mm -hmm. and the polarization between Jammu and Kashmir along religious lines mm -hmm. has become so deep that in a context like that to come out and say that it's a societal problem and not a political problem is like brushing aside whatever is happening elsewhere, looking at things actually in isolation, precisely what he critiques in his uh, short speech, but he himself is guilty of because he's looking at cutting it off from everything else. I mean, he's also ignoring what is happening right, I mean, the same state in another region. And completely unmindful of it. There is not even an iota of concern expressed about it. That makes it extremely problematic for anybody to take seriously. So even if one believes that he is saying something very, 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 uh, very profound, the point is, it's been closer reading. You discover that actually it's not uh, as it appears. Uh, closer look. It's an extremely uh, problematic. Uh, the remarks that he has he has made, and there is it's it's completely dismisses and is indifferent mm -hmm. to 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 the to the main issue uh, that still uh, influences people, and they're still troubled by it. Okay, Gautam. So that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Thank you, sir. This discussion. Thank you for watching this clip.